<laughs> right here and luckily I did leave space in my uploading uh, schedule so I did plan for this to arrive on time and it did luckily um, so this is the uh, February 2019 neon box it's um what is it Kiseki Genius, I think it's the theme. And uh, the reason why I got this is because I forgot to actually cancel. So, <laughs> hopefully he's got some good stuff. Normally I cancel if there's uh, the majority of the anime that I didn't want. Well, let's just, let's see what it is, shall we? As you know what the box looks like. This is the second time I got this. So. <coughs> And if you uh, watched my shadow video, I am still sick, sort of. So, but also it was kind of good that I got this because this is their uh, fifth anniversary box too. So, anyway, that's their thing. Hopefully, I don't knock any figures down. So like on the back, it's got a uh, Mega Nihon box. February 2020 lucky draw. This month, one lucky subscriber will receive in addition, in addition to this box, a two round trip tickets to Japan. That's cool. So um, okay. So I won't look on the inside because that's sort of the spoilers. But like, here is the. Uh, Tanjovi Omedito Nihon Box. Basically, happy birthday, Nihon Box. This box, we celebrate five years of Nihon Box, and we are more than happy to share this unique moment with you. Thank you so much for ordering this February 2020 <coughs> Nihon Box. Uh, the content of your box will come in a beautiful furushiki, like we usually do in Japan, to offer gifts. So, like, actually, I could probably take this out of the box, right? Um, anyway, that's like the, the cloth thingy, which I can reuse, or at least keep in my filing cabinet until I know what to do with it. <laughs> um, you also get an exclusive sticker featuring our official mascot, and limited 5th anniversary postcard. Huh. As usual, we did our best to curate some of the best items. From Japan, and that will surely bring happiness to all Japan culture lovers and collectors. Black Butler, Hikaru no Go, Kuru on the Basket, as well as Dr. Stone, and will make a new amazing addition. Will make new amazing addition to your collection. This would be additions with an S, but uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's go for the sixth year together with plenty of great ideas, and hope to share with you soon. In the meantime, let's catch up again next month and discover with new discoveries and always more Japan. And on the back, it's got Discover Japan. Every month, learn more about Japan and its culture. So this one is like the special days. <coughs> so, um... Talking about special day events, did you know that there are plenty of special days in Japan? Actually, there's a day for everything. In Japan, we call these special days XX no He. Literally, the day of XX, but you know. Uh, XX is, you know, you substitute what day it is, I guess. Um, here are two examples of the most popular ones. On February 22nd, Nekom no He, so day of the cat. Okay. In Japan, it's Cat Day. Tradition began in 1987 when Executive Cat Day Committee, as advised by Japan Pet Food Association, polled nearly 9,000 cat enthusiasts who selected 22nd of February as Cat Day. You learn new things every day, don't you? Uh, 
The main idea is to thank cats, enjoy the happiness of having a chance to live among them. Okay, that's, that's okay. Um, why does it take place on 22nd February? Well, the answer lies in Chun to the Japan, Japanese pronunciation of two, which is me, and is similar to the Japanese meow of cat nan nan nan. Okay. Uh, on this day, limited products and cat shapes cakes are sold. Cat events and contests are also organized in the same idea. The day of the dog is January the 11th because dogs make one one in Japan, which for us is pronunciation of one. Okay. 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 Uh, on November 22nd, E. E fu fu no he? I think that's what I'm saying. Uh the day of good couples really? Okay. <coughs> e means good and fu fu means cuff couple. Since nineteen eighty eight, it's a day dedicated to couples. Isn't that supposed to be technically Valentine's Day? That's well, technically, same. Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, day. The idea is to have a day where we try to spend more time as a couple. Events for couples were organized that day. There's also an increase in the number of weddings that day. Uh, some others, like um, Seaweed Day, February 6th, or Kabuki Day on February 20th. In fact, there are special days for almost every day, but not all are official. Those, those are in those official. Um, most of the time, the dates of these special days are made from Japanese puns. If you're curious, you can always try and find out what special day is your birthday. Huh. Okay. Well, that, that's enough me uh, rambling on, I guess. So, this is the, uh, like the... How they wrap their gifts, you know, in this little cloth thingy. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting the box out of the way. Okay, it's nicely uh, you know, wrapped. So this should be interesting. I have no idea what's in here. <laughs> so uh, let's um, take take it apart. Uh, let me just take a picture of it first. I mean, it looks nice, right? Just one sec. Okay, we're back. So, let's just untie this. It's, it's like in their little uh, designs as well. It's very thin cloth here. Ooh! Well, here's the sticker. Oh, that's so cute. There's the sticker. Ooh! Um, let's do this like Jenga and just take, take them out random places. Okay, we got a green tea azuki bean cake, okay? Mm, okay, I, I, I will try it, mm, I think. Like, I hate green tea, and I don't like azuki beans, which is basically, you know, that red bean taste thing. But, um, yeah. Technically, I'm not supposed to eat, eat much beans or any beans, really, because of the fiber I can't have. But, um, yes, that, um, I will at least cut it in half and maybe give half to my sister. Yes, let's do it that way. Because, or I give one to my sister because there are two. I actually didn't show it on here, did I? Yet. Okay, so there are two, so I'll give one to my sister. I'll have half, I'll give the other half to my mom. That, that works. Maybe. Okay. So here we have the uh, the postcard thing that they were talking about. Pretty neat. And it's got a little like, mini home box stamp logo thing on one of the wall scrolls. It's pretty cool. And for some reason I just noticed they're all opening up the home boxes or packing them. Yes. That's pretty cool, and it's got like little Mount Fuji in the corner there with some sakura or cherry blossom petal things. Okay, so. <coughs> uh, 
uh, it all started in February 2015. Now that is a while away, isn't it? Blah blah blah. blah. Thank you. Uh, Charles, Tomoko, and the whole Neon Box team. Cool. Cool, cool. So I'll just put that over there. I don't know. <coughs> okay, we got a Dr. Stone whiteboard. Ooh. Maybe it was a good idea to get this box. I got a Sebastian Finky. Nikki. Yes, I, I think I'm pretty happy with this kind of cheating if I'm looking, but you are actually looking at it too. Okay, so here's a Dr. Stone whiteboard. There we go, we got the uh, Dr. Stone cast people. We got a, a little whiteboard pen with an eraser thing. And you got like a little string you can hang up like on, on your door or something. That's nice, though. So you can't really write much on this, can you? Is the Dr. Stone picture, unless you just write over that. Dr. Stone picture is uh, kind of taking up most of most space here to write, but uh, yeah, I still need to finish watching that. I kind of got sidetracked and started other anime. So, but uh, yes, and it's very nice. A whiteboard. Say little, it was pretty thick. But well, a decent size uh, like whiteboard here. But that's that picture does take up most of the whiteboard. So that's my only slight uh, problem with this because unless you want to write over their faces. But I think you might be able to write on the other side too. Maybe. Actually, let me just open it with my fingers on. Yeah, I think it's made of the same stuff on both sides. So you can write on the back too. So that's good, at least. So that's that's the whiteboard. Can I even put this back here without knocking Yuji over? Okay, so I got Yuji and Kirito back there. So um, we ever got a bowl? Oh, that's pretty cool. It's actually made in Japan. That's, that's a change. The whiteboard was made in China, by the way. This is absolutely pretty. Plastic, I believe. That is awesome. And look how pretty this little, like, I guess, rice bowl. Though, wouldn't people only have, like, their miso soup in that type? Anyway, it's a little side bowl like thing. Or it's for rice. You know, I do have a ceramic rice bowl, but it's a bit bigger than this, I think. But anyway, this is absolutely cool. Don't know if I actually eat out of it. But it looks like you can... Can you put it in the wash? I can't tell. I mean, I, I can't read that, so... So it does say like there's an 80 degrees thing and a minus 20 degrees. So you can put it in the fridge, is my guess. I doubt it's microwavable because it's plastic. But um, yeah, it doesn't really help that I can't read it, but uh, most likely just to be a safe bet, just hand wash the thing. <laughs> Cause I doubt it would take much to hand wash it anyway. But doesn't it look, move the camera. Doesn't it look so, pretty. With all these little cherry blossoms or soccer flowers on it. Just so pretty. I do like that flower. Right. So there. I'll just put them cakes in there for now. Um, here we have a <coughs> 
50th anniversary, uh, is kind of like a Zoom Zoom thing, I think. It's like a stacking thing. Blind box, it is. So, like, I guess this would represent... Kuro Kuno Basket. But technically, it's gone. Unless they... They're assured it has Kuro Kuro in it. But, um... It's got all sorts of characters in here. From Hunter x Hunter, One Piece, Goku, Dragon Ball, I guess. It's another blue haired one. It's um, one of the new anime, I think. Oh, that toilet one. Um, and Naruto. So it's it's got a. You know, let me just open it. It's just rambling on. It's just got a little perforated thing to pull there and. Them. Rip it. Nice. I mean, there we go. Oh, maybe they. Could tell it would be cool to let it know. Anyway, this is a uh, Serene 11. That's Kuroko's. Um, what's it called? Team number, I guess. The crew from the basket, the crew from basketball. It's got some beans down there to weigh it down. Not much. See? Here. Yeah, it's a little cute crew from It's got a little um, ball chain here you can use it as a key ring thing. We just lay it down there. And on the back it's got 50th. I guess it's because it's part of the 50th anniversary thing. It's like a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what the 50th anniversary is supposed to represent. Because that's the box. And I can't read it, so I have no clue. So we'll wait for the cheat sheet thing. Just right over here. I almost lost it. Okay, so I'll just put the box over there. <clears throat> okay, next up, we got this. Um, I'm gonna admit, I actually don't haven't watched this anime. Um, since this is the last two items, I do know what it is. So, oh, that's right, it's a miso soup bowl. Yeah. Um, Hikaru no Go. It's manga published in 1999. This is not the most recent one, but it's in Hornbox Team. We love Takashi Obata's work. Um, mangaka of Death Note, Bakuman, and of course Hikaru no Go. The story of this manga is about an adventures of the young Hikaru. Hikaru is a child who knows nothing about the game of Go until he meets a ghost named Sai, a Go player during the Heian era. Uh, Sai finds himself trapped in Hikaru's mind and will soon make him want to play Go by himself. If you don't know this by CS, yes, what are you waiting for? Okay, so it's kind of there is another anime similar to this, but it's based around chess, not Go. Well, Shogi. Japanese chess, which is different. Seems really complicated for me. I can play normal chess, like the English chess, but I've never tried Japanese chess. So I don't know if I'll be good at it. Hmm. It seems like it has lots of rules. <laughs> um, <coughs> I might have to try and look into it. But anyway, okay. This actually seems interesting. So yeah, I am going... Should be interesting. Okay, so it is this. Um, let's put that out of the way. 
Is this? Well, technically, I personally don't really collect mugs, really. Oh, it's a mug, by the way. If I didn't, um, or if I wasn't clear on it. I don't think I actually said the word mug, did I? Well, it looks like this. Um... I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, this will be on my eBay because I am not going to keep that. I mean, the only mugs I actually have are maybe a couple from a other oh, lucky bag thing and one from a friend which I use as a pen holder. I don't actually drink anything that actually needs mugs really. I don't like coffee, I don't like tea, but I'm trying to find a good strawberry flavored tea I like, but um, yeah, anyway, it's totally <laughs> random, but uh, yeah, unless those mug soup things, but like, we got loads of mugs in the cupboard, so I just use one of those, not that I can reach them, but yeah, yeah, so, yeah, anyway, um, <coughs> the, uh, I might as well go through all this and I'll, Cover the figure at last. To say a super premium figure. Of, as you see, Sebastian Kaivas. From uh, Book of the Atlantic. I forgot, was that the movie? Yeah, that was the movie, what? Movie, I think. It's been a while since I watched it, shall we say. But it's nice, I don't have a Black Butler figure yet. I think I have a surplus of Sorta Online figures right now. <laughs> not a Black Butler one anywhere. Which is good, which is good. <coughs> okay, so. The uh, Dr. Stone whiteboard. This is the first. For the first time ever, Dr. Stone is coming in your uniform box featuring a useful item. I guess it's useful, yeah. Um, it would be more useful if it was magnetic on the back, because then you could stick it to your fridge or something. Technically, we stick our other magnet board to our freezer because the fridge is a wooden thing on the front. But anyway, that's totally nothing. Um, Senku, the hero of the manga, is a genius with a big scientific knowledge. Thanks to this amazing whiteboard featuring different characters from the manga, you can write down all your ideas or study your Japanese while ta taking advantage of Senku's intelligence. Winky face. Seriously. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a winky face. Um, yeah. It'd be better if, as I said before, if the picture was a tiny bit smaller, so you have more writing space. But other than that, it's a pretty useful item. <coughs> I prefer it if it was a different anime, but Dr. Stone is okay. Anime, I haven't finished watching it yet. Uh, the Azuki Cake Matcha Flavor, which is green tea. To celebrate our fifth anniversary, here is a delicious cake mixing two typical Japanese flavors highly appreciated by our team. Matcha and Azuki, which is red bean. These ones have a soft texture that will surely delight your sweet tooth. I personally don't eat very many sweet things, to be honest. Apart from ice cream. Well, vanilla ice cream. But that's... You know, I don't really even eat chocolate much. Because I don't really like it that much. In large quantities. Or big, normal quantities. Like a little here and there, but that's it. Yes, I'm weird. <laughs> like, I don't hate chocolate. I just don't really like it that much. That's all. But anyway. The miso soup. looks so pretty. Um, in February, a few weeks before the cherry blossoms, nature offers us an early beautiful spectacle with the flowering of plum blossoms. Okay, they're plum blossoms. Alright. <laughs> uh, 
There are several popular spots to enjoy all over Japan. With this pretty miso soup bowl made in Japan, you will be able to enjoy the plum blossom vibes at home just like if you were there. Just a very, very pretty bowl. For plastic. I didn't really like it. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I might even just keep it on my desk for display and just put something in it. Like that. <laughs> but I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. Um, it wouldn't be nice if they had washing instructions, you know. But anyway, here, little oh, Kuroko, uh, a Protikoro Kuroko no Basuki. Uh, your Protikoro collection keeps growing. But this is my only one, technically. Um, here is a new addition, Tetsuya Kuroko, the main protagonist of Kuroko no Basuki. Tetsuya is a quite is quite a smart player. He specializes in mix misdirection, I can't read, um, and passes and can easily become invisible to his opponents thanks to his strong skills and unique abilities. Which that is one of the most funniest parts of the anime is when people think he's invisible and he's like been there the entire time. And he freaks out his other players. This is just really amusing when that happens. Okay, so, our main little thing, well it's not little, it's normal size, but our main thing, here, is this lovely Black Butler Book of the Atlantic, Sebastian Michaelis. Made in China. <laughs> Which I think the only thing made in Japan is, is the miso soup bowl. <laughs> but anyway, that's fine. That's fine. It is so uh, pretty. Not as detailed as some other ones, but it is very nice. Here's the picture. Let me just say the only reason I'm not taking it out and you know setting it up and everything, which is probably only basically two parts, two or three parts, um, is I have nowhere to put it currently, and I'll do its own opening video of it. I mean, it won't be long, but uh, yeah, um, I have nowhere to put it currently, and I need somewhere to put it so I can put it up. So yes, but wait on that. I could probably put it up on the desk, really, but I can't. I've kind of cluttered it more, so I don't have space at the moment. So, that is everything. Obviously I didn't get the uh, the extra lucky, uh, lucky draw thing, which is fine. I mean, traveling for me is kind of difficult, so I'm not too, too bothered. But this is a very nice little cloth thingy. Definitely keeping that. So, like, basically, do, do, do. That's a good picture, yeah? Huh. Let's finish. There. Now that's finished. Okay. That's a good picture. So anyway, I'm going to uh, take my pictures now. And you'll see at the end of the video. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. 
I don't think I'm going to get the next one. I'll have to wait and see, but I don't think so. We'll see. Like and for more, ring the doorbell for notifications. Over. You know, I actually never read this part out. So, um, yeah, basically, May 19, they gave a CL Phantom Hive figure. And you get, and everybody, I guess, asked for a Sebastian one. So this is the gorgeous figure, measures 20 centimeters, and will be the best effect displayed next to the CL figure. But I never got that box, so I don't have CL. But I do remember seeing that advertised. Though CL's not really my favorite character, Sebastian is. So yeah, but th that's it. So uh, doodles.